here, place the article on the floor just in front of her. You're going to come all the way back here and then you're going to ask her to hold and stop herself there. hold an article just behind your canines, yeah. just here. Yeah. Don't take it to the back of your mouth. Right, yeah. Hold it up yeah. the front there. Now, the trouble is, okay. um, oh, outside, they can tend to get their jaw underneath an article. But when it's on a flat floor like this, to me, they can't get their chin underneath yeah. there. Oh. So what they do is they pick it up generally at the front with their teeth and then readjust it. So if I'm working on a very clean hold, I've got to be very careful of the articles I pick indoors to do it with. If I'm doing it outside, if I'm doing it outside, then I can afford, because they, the ground's got given it. But if it is a flat article, even if it's outside, I will allow a dog an adjustment. Yeah, I, I will, and not many people will, apparently. No, I will allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. But I know people yeah. who won't allow it. Mm -hmm. They all allow it in the lower classes, but they go, they sort of go, come ticket, no, I don't allow a readjustment. How does it pick it up, though, if it's teeth on the ground? Too? Well, I oh, suppose yeah. they expect the dog to come in with it at the front which point of their mouth. Yeah, at which point it's going to drop it, because it's nine, <laughs> nine times out of ten. Yeah. They come so flying in and they I, bang will it always, I will always yeah, say, I will always allow, not on a dumbbell. You ain't getting no readjustment at all. No. Mm -hmm. At all. Because to me, the dog it. can come underneath it and pick it up cleanly. But the minute it's a flat, and, and in fairness, if it was something like that, you ain't getting a readjustment on that either. <laughs> Because the dog, I know you knew you were in wrong trouble. Because to me, the dog can put that in the right place in its mouth. Yeah. But flat articles where they have to pick it up at the front and then put it to the right place, no, I'm not going to mark them for that. Especially when they're going in the street. Can't yeah, well, otherwise they're going to graze all their bloody chin. So I think yeah. you've got to be, again, it's just being aware when you're judging or whatever, or when you're training your dog, of is this possible? Is it possible? And if the answer to that is no, then I'm not going to ask them to do it. And you've got a dog that goes, it's not in the right place. Oh, it's still not in the right place. No, it's about a millimetre rack again. It's a millimetre rack. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's half an inch. Nice yeah, excuse yeah. to mouth it. But so as I say, it's like with an article like that one, it is just slightly raised for in here. And the reason I picked this over Cathy's one is again what we've got to be aware is the mechanics of a dog's mouth don't work. Because you go, if I'm shut on one side, well, I can't be shut on the other side. So I can only shut my mouth on one side. Whereas this is nice and squidgy, so you can squidge it to make it. But otherwise, you go, if that's a straight line, then this side doesn't touch. So that's why I thought 